Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a huge collection of dinosaurs from the historical Cretaceous period. And we've even got some brand new dinosaur figures to unbox. So let's get started. All right, let's get started with this gigantic figure right in the front here. This is the Carnotaurus Toro from the Camp Cretaceous toy line. Let's open it up and check it out. All right, here is the super colossal Carnotaurus Toro. This thing is huge. It's probably two to three feet long, maybe two feet high. The head is as big as my hand. And like many of the other super colossal dinosaurs, you can actually feed it miniature dinosaurs and there's a tunnel in its throat that goes all the way down to its stomach compartment where you can get those miniature dinosaurs out. That is super cool. So you can actually feed this dinosaur. How awesome is that? And just like most other Carnotaurus figures, this Carnotaurus is like a clay red color on the sides and it's got a darker brown on the top. It's super bumpy. You can see all those spikes all over its back. And of course, you've got the two ginormous horns right on its head. And you can see on the other side of its face, it's actually got some battle damage right there on the nose. That is super cool. I really like how adjustable this is. You can move the ankles, you can move the legs, you can swivel the tail around, you can even twist the neck. And of course, you can open the jaw super wide. Up next from our brand new dinosaurs, we've got the Draco Rex. Let's open this up and check it out. All right, so this is a smaller dinosaur and it is bright green with that dark gray striping along its back. And the most prominent feature are all those horns right on the top of its head. You can move the arms, you can move the legs, you can twist the tail, and you can move the neck up and down and adjust the head too. So it's a pretty adjustable dinosaur. <laughs> Next up from our brand new dinosaurs, we've got the Protoceratops. Let's check it out. All right, here it is. I do have, I think, another figure just like this. This dinosaur is a dark purple, with the yellow accenting on the top and on the very front. And it reminds me a little bit of a Triceratops because of this right there on its head. But obviously it doesn't have any horns. You can move the legs, you can twist the tail, and you can move the head around too. Right back here, we've got a classic Tyrannosaurus Rex. And this is actually from the old Jurassic Park line. How cool is that? This T-Rex is super rubbery. So you can actually squeeze the skin and you can swivel the arms back and forth. Those are the only plastic part of this dinosaur. The rest of it's like a squishy rubber. But all in all, this is a dark red brown dinosaur. It's got the black spots on the side and the black stripes right along the top of its body and that huge mouthful of teeth. Look at those green eyes too. Those are pretty detailed. Next up, we've got the mighty Spinosaurus. This one is a dark green color, so it blends into the jungle super well, I bet. And just as usual for many of the Spinosaurus figures that I have, it's got this red accenting right along the top of its head and along the top of the spine with the white stripe right beneath it. And you can move the legs, the arms, the neck, and the tail. And of course, there's a button on the head that opens and closes the jaw. Right up front here, we've got a Therizinosaurus. Look at those huge claws right in the front. And it's got feathers all over its body. And this is a fully adjustable dinosaur figure too. You can even adjust the knees. Look at that. And as you can already hear, it's got sound effects as well. I will say that I don't think this toy is designed very well because it is so sensitive. Oh, you just barely touch it and it makes a noise. But when you also move the tail, it also swings the torso back and forth for the slashing action. And with that action button on the tail right here, you can have that chomping action too. Up next, we've got a orange brown T-Rex with battle damage all over its body. Look at all those slashes. And this T-Rex is pretty adjustable as well. You can adjust the arms and legs and the tail. And of course you can open and shut its jaw too. 
right up front here, we've got a Carnotaurus. This one is a lot smaller than the super colossal one that we opened earlier, but this is still a super cool figure and one of my favorite dinosaurs. Check out the action button right here. See what kind of chomping action it does. That is super cool. And I love the darker red coloring on this as well. You can move the tail, move the legs. It is a pretty adjustable figure. Right up front here, we've got the scary Baryonyx. You can move the arms and the legs and the tail on this dinosaur. Plus there is a slide action. You can slide up and down for a bunch of different roars. And check out that bright blue accent coloring right on the top of its head and neck. How cool is that? All right, another T-Rex. This one has battle damage, but a different type. Check it out right here. You press a button on the top of its body, it flips open and reveals the battle damage. This T-Rex is super adjustable. You can adjust to nearly every part of its body, and you can even pose its mouth wide open for a roar too. Next up, we've got a super bright colored dinosaur. This is the Suchomimus. Most of its body is yellow, and the very top, right along its spine, is brown. This dinosaur has two action buttons. The first is for chomping, and the second is for sweeping the tail. Look at that super long mouth too. That's really interesting. Way in the back here, we've got another Tyrannosaurus Rex, but this one is super awesome colored. Look at the green camouflage all over its body. It's got the white underbelly as usual, but I just love this coloring because it really would blend into the jungle. And like the other T-Rexes, you can adjust basically every part of its body and with this one, you can even use the tail and you move it back and forth to control its neck. Over here, we've got a giant Triceratops with battle damage on this side. This dinosaur is one of the older Jurassic Park figures and its whole body is rubbery, so you can squeeze it. And actually one of the actions of this figure is when you squeeze the stomach, the head moves up and down. Here we've got a darker colored dinosaur, except for that bright red right underneath its chin. This is a Tarbosaurus. And look at all those spikes right along its spine that go all the way to the tip of the tail. This dinosaur has an action button on its tail for the chomping. And you can also move the tail back and forth to control its neck. Right over here, we've got a dinosaur that stays super close to the ground. This is a Sarcosagus, and it looks kind of like an alligator, but I think way scarier. This is a pretty cool figure though, because like some of the other figures we've seen, you can move the tail and it'll control its face. Here is another Suchomimus, but this one is totally differently colored. You can see that it's blue along most of its body and then right along the top with its spine is that bright yellow coloring. And this Suchomimus only has one action button that when you press, it chops. Check this out. This is another super old dinosaur figure. This is from the Jurassic Park toy line. I'm pretty sure this dinosaur is a Velociraptor because of those claws on its feet, but it might be a species very similar to it. This dinosaur is like an orange yellow color throughout its body, except for the bottom, which is a white color, and it's got those black spots all over. And this dinosaur is pretty adjustable too. You can move the legs a little bit, you can move the arms, and you can even move the claws as well. <laughs> Here is an unusual looking dinosaur. This is the Narsudoceratops. Check out those two huge horns right in the front. These horns were probably used for stabbing and defending against other dinosaurs. Most of its body is a blue color. You can see some green on its feet. And then it's got that red detailing on its face and even some on its back as well. Let's check out these action buttons. The first is a roaring action and the second button sweeps its tail back and forth. And the legs are fully adjustable as well. 
here we've got a Parasaurolophus. And check out that super shiny coloring along its back and a little bit on its legs. Oh, and even a little bit on the top of its horn. The rest of its body is yellow with a little bit of purple accenting here and there. And when you twist the tail, it moves the head as well. All right, here's another predator. This is a Majingasaurus, or I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Its body is mostly green with the yellow and the blue accenting right along the top of its body. And interestingly, I think this dinosaur has a pretty small face compared to other dinosaurs that look like this. That's pretty cool. And when you move the tail, it controls the face. I love that feature. Here is a good old Triceratops. It's got the three horns in the front. Its body is mostly brown with the blue accenting on the top and on the front right here. The legs are adjustable, and just like the other figures we've seen, when you move the tail, it controls its head. Alright, here are our first Velociraptors of the bin. This one is a bright red with green accenting along the top, and this one is a tan color with brown accenting on the top. Each of these have a special feature, actually. With this Velociraptor, it's spring-loaded on the legs so it can leap up into the air. And with this dinosaur, it has a slashing action with its claws. It's spring-loaded so it goes back and forth. Here's a smaller dinosaur. I believe this is a Pachycephalosaurus. It's got that super hard head for headbutting into other dinosaurs. And it's even got an action button with its tail for that headbutting. And you can also adjust its arms and its legs as well. Ooh, here's another gigantic dinosaur. I believe this is another Tarbosaurus. And this one has way different detailing. Look at all those bumps along its body. It's got like a dark gray coloring with the white underbelly. That is super textured all along its body. And with this model figure, you can open and close its mouth. Here we've got a super shielded dinosaur. This is an Ankylosaurus and its entire top is super hard to protect against other dinosaurs attacking. And check out those spikes on the side too. This figure has an action button right on the back, so when you press this button, the tail swings back and forth for defense. Here is another Therizinosaurus with slightly different coloring. This one has a blue belly, the other one had black along most of its body. But like the other one, it's got that bright red striping all the way to the top of its head. And it's got those classic super long claws for stabbing and slashing too. You can't adjust the legs or the tail of this one, but you can move the arms up and down on this figure and also open the mouth too. All right, here we've got another Carnotaurus. This one is a darker brown colored compared to the other two Carnotauruses that I showed you today, but it is still very adjustable with the legs, with the arms, and with the neck, you can control its head. And even with the action button, you can chomp at the same time. This is an Albertosaurus with battle damage. Check that out. With this battle damage, you can see that it has the stomach in there, and then you can close the ribs, and then you can close the skin to hide it all. That's really cool that there's different layers of this battle damage and it's even got a little slash on its leg as well. The rest of this dinosaur is fully adjustable as well with the arms and legs and tail and even the neck and you can open and close the mouth too. Here we've got a gigantic Velociraptor. This is from the old Jurassic World toy line and it is a light brown color with gray striping on the top. And there's not that many parts of this dinosaur that can move. You can move the legs and the arms, but you can't open and close its mouth or move the tail at all either. Here is a dinosaur with a super interesting name. This is the Zunaceratops. I think I've actually got two of them in this bin. Here they are. They look like twins. They both got the bright green coloring along the sides and the bottom. And then right along the top is a dark gray color. Check out those big horns right up front. 
Next up, we've got another Baryonyx, but with different coloring. This one is mostly brown with gray along the top, and most interestingly, orange right along the top of its head. This dinosaur also has an action button that controls its jaw. Right here, we've got another Triceratops, but with different coloring. This is a dark green color with brown accenting along the top, and an action when you stomp down on its feet, it roars. Here we have another Parasaurolophus, but this one does not have that shimmery pink color along the top. This one is more realistically colored. It's yellow and it's got those brown stripes along its body. And this Parasaurolophus has two action buttons. The first one controls its head and the second one controls the tail. Here are some Gallimimuses. I think I've got actually a few more in here. There's the third one, and each of these Gallimimuses have different coloring. The first is a bright orange color with brown on the top. You can move the arms and legs and neck. The second one is a darker brown color. You can also control its arms and its legs. And the third one is a dark gray color with even darker gray along the top. And we've got some more Velociraptors. This first one is a dark gray color with yellow accenting on the top. You can adjust the legs and arms and the mouth. And this other Velociraptor is a dark brown with a even darker brown along the top. And this Velociraptor is spring loaded. So just like the other one we saw, you press down and you can release and it jumps up into the air. Ooh, here's another scary looking predator. This I believe is the Rajasaurus. This is a newer figure that came out with the Jurassic World Dominion movie, and its body is mostly brown with the gray-blue accenting right along the top. And with this figure, when you press down on its legs, it does a chomping action. Here we've got a Spinosaurus. This figure is smaller than the one that we saw earlier, but it's still that dark green coloring with the red and white along its spine and the red on its face right around its eyes can move the arms and the legs and the tail of this figure, but you can't open and close the jaw on this one. We've got another Albertosaurus here. This one does not have battle damage on the side. And although it is green, I think it's a bit darker and it has that red accenting right along the top of its body, all the way up to its face. With this figure, you can move the tail around and it controls its face. And there's also an action button on the tail that you can press to control its jaw. All right, we've got some smaller dinosaurs here. This first one is an Ornitholestes, and it is a mostly brown dinosaur with yellow accenting along the top of its body. And it's pretty adjustable. You can move its arms, its legs, you can twist the tail and move the neck and the mouth. This next figure is a Trudon, and it looks kind of like it has a mohawk, which is kind of funny. The rest of its body is a gray color with red underbelly, and it's got that black accenting right along the top. And this dinosaur is a Stiggy Malak, and it has an action where you can press down on the tail for a headbutting action. Right over here, we've got an herbivore. This is the Styracosaurus. It's a mostly dark green body with brown on the top, and a bunch of spikes right on the front with that yellow accenting. And this dinosaur has an action. When you move the tail, its head goes up and down for roaring. This looks like a baby dinosaur. I believe this is Ankylosaurus bumpy. And I think we've actually got another full grown Ankylosaurus right here. Look at the difference in coloring. This one's a bright blue with a yellow underbelly. And the adult Ankylosaurus has a dark brown top with white spikes and then a dark red belly. Plus, this Ankylosaurus has an action button. When you stomp down on the feet, it swings its tail back and forth. All right, just a few dinosaurs left. This is Apachycephalosaurus with red coloring along the top and a bright green on its underbelly. I think we actually have another Apachycephalosaurus that's from the older Jurassic World toy line. It's got a little battle damage there too. But both of these dinosaurs have an action that when you move the tail, it can headbutt. 
here is another awesome and massive Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look at all that detail along its body. So much shading. It's mostly red, but they really worked hard with the detailing of making it look realistic with its skin. That's so cool. And with this model, you can open and close its mouth, but the rest of its limbs can't move. And here is another Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one is a bright blue with gold striping along the top and even a teal color right along its eyes. With this model, you can't move the limbs, but you can open and shut the jaw. Here we've got another ginormous Velociraptor. This is one of the older Velociraptors from the Jurassic World toy line. It has batteries. I think it's out of batteries right now, but this one also has a chomping action with its tail, so you can open and close its mouth. And for our last dinosaur, we've got a baby Triceratops with battle damage on the side. At least it looks like a baby because it's pretty small. This Triceratops is green all over its body, gets a little darker brown along the top, and you can move its head and its legs as well. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a huge bucket full of Camp Cretaceous, Jurassic World, and Jurassic Park figures. And I've even got some brand new dinosaurs here. Check this one out. This is the Scorpios Rex. Let's go ahead and open it up. The Great Scorpios Rex. Let's see what kind of actions this toy can do. Let's see. It's got a button up here. Let's see what this does. All right, so it's got a roaring action and then a second button. Let's see what that does. All right on, it's a slashing action. So we've got a bite and roar action and the slashing action. Also, check out the spikes on the back of this dinosaur. I believe that these spikes are actually poisonous so they can be used when they're fighting another dinosaur. And we've got two more brand new dinosaur toys to check out. Let's go ahead and open up the Owen Grady figure. All right, so here is Owen Grady. He is fully adjustable, can bend his legs, his knees, his arms, even his torso too. And it comes with this cool little stand that you can stand him on. So you can display him on your shelf. Just like that. All right, very cool. I'm gonna add him to my collection on the shelf. And our last brand new dinosaur, we got a good old Velociraptor. Let's see what it can do. So its arms are movable and it looks like it, and it looks like his torso twists back and forth too. That must be its slashing action. Look at those claws right there. <laughs> All right, let's dig into our giant bin. First up, we've got this giant custom colored Indominus Rex. Look at the coloring on that. This is one of the brightest dinosaurs I have and it is absolutely gorgeous. And it's got a button up here so you can slash with its claws. Next up, we've got, look at this. I think this is a hybrid T-Rex. So it looks mostly like a T-Rex. Then you notice it's got these spines on its back that you can actually push in. And then pressing the button right here, you can have it pop out just like that. Over here, we've got one of my favorites, the T-Rex with battle damage. And this T-Rex is fully posable, so you can actually keep his mouth open. So if you wanna like display him in a certain pose, you can do that with this T-Rex, which I really like. We've got some really brightly colored dinosaurs in here too. Look at this. 
This must be some type of hybrid Dilophosaurus. This is a super bright dinosaur. Look at that neon green and yellow coloring, and then that bright orange coloring on its back, and then these huge, I don't know if they're wings or frills or what they are. Those are really scary looking though. Over here is another giant T-Rex, and the coloring on this one is super realistic, and the texture too. Look how detailed that is. That looks like real skin. And then of course, some massive teeth. What dinosaur is this? Oh, I think I know what it is. It is a Spinosaurus. And this one has really cool coloring. Look at that blue on the top of its spine right there. I don't see any blue on the rest of its body. So that's pretty special. And it's got some green eyes. Look at that. And some huge nasty teeth in its mouth. Wow, this is a huge, scary dinosaur. And the claws too, look at those claws. Those are ginormous. Let's keep digging, let's go with uh, this one right here. Oh, this is a loud dinosaur. This is a Carnotaurus and he's ready for a fight. Check out those horns on the top of its head and it's even got like Tiny little spikes all along its back, too. I've got a question for you. Who do you think would win in a fight? A T-Rex? Like this guy? Or a Carnotaurus? Comment below, who do you think would win? And on this T-Rex, too, it's got some unique functions. So first, you can, you can uh, pose him like that, and then when you hit the tail, he slams downward with his jaws, as if he's about to bite something. That is amazing. I really like the coloring on this. Oh, what's that we have here? I actually don't know what kind of dinosaur this is. Do you know what kind? Comment below and let me know. This is a super brightly colored one though. It might be a hybrid of some sort, maybe. I'm not sure. Look at that red on its face, though, and the yellow stripes. That is really amazing. All right, another T-Rex, but this one is red. That's really cool. This is a much brighter T-Rex than the other ones we have, and it's still got those giant teeth. You better watch out. Here's an interesting looking dinosaur. This is a sarcosagus. It looks kind of like an alligator, don't you think? It's got a huge mouth full of teeth. Here's another bright dinosaur. This looks like it's a hybrid between maybe a stegosaurus and a triceratops. What do you think? Ooh, look at that gold along its spine and the gold on the horns too, and a little bit of battle damage. <laughs> Let's keep digging for some big dinosaurs. I think I got a few more huge dinosaurs in here. Let's see, oh, here's a big one. All right, a Stegosaurus. Really cool coloring with the green and the brown, so it helps camouflage it into the jungle. And it's got an action button too. You can see there's a button up here. And when you press that, it swings its mighty spikes on its tail back and forth. You better stay out of the way. Ooh, look at this. We've got a huge winged dinosaur right here. And look at the realism with its coloring too. And on its face, too. Look at all that yellow and orange mixed in with the brown. That is a super detailed face. And it's even got some little teeth in its mouth, too. And right over here, we've got a Pachycephalosaurus. Wow, look at this. And look at the super hard shell on its head to protect it for when it's headbutting people. Look at this one. This one looks a little friendly, don't you think? 
this is an Amargosaurus, and it's got two action buttons. The first one moves its neck up and down, and the second action button moves its tail. That is cool. I really like the spines all along its back, and look at that orange, too. That is really neat. <laughs> all right, check this out. We've got a, a little Indominus Rex right here, and it comes with the battle damage as well that you can open and close. <laughs> this, I think this must be a hybrid, maybe a T-Rex of some type. Maybe it's a hybrid with a Dilophosaurus because it's got those, uh, those winged frill things in the front. But this is a super bright T-Rex. And when you move its tail, it can open and close its mouth. <laughs> and we've got another super bright dinosaur. I think this is a Spinosaurus, but the coloring is obviously different than a normal Spinosaurus. It's mostly blue with the battle damage on the side, and it's got that super bright red spine with the black stripes. All right, next up, we've got a Parasaurolophus. Did you know that these dinosaurs might have been able to breathe fire? We're not entirely sure, but can you imagine if these things were able to spit fire? That's amazing. This is the Majungasaurus. Look at all those spikes everywhere. It's bumpy all along its back. It's got these things underneath its neck as well. All right, check out this Ankylosaurus. And look at that action move right there too. I bet it could defend really well against the Velociraptor. Look at that. Oh no, he's fighting him. He's got that huge protective shell all along the top and those spikes on the side too. This is the Seats Micarorum. Look at those rows of teeth. It's even got an extra row, of just like one giant tooth right there. I bet that helps it out while it's eating. And look at all these spikes along its back as well. You better watch out for this dinosaur in the wild. <laughs> Next up, we've got a Pentaceratops. Look at those five horns on the front. So one, two, three, and then four, five. This is the Edmontosaurus. Did you know that these dinosaurs could walk on either all four legs or just two? Check this out. This is a Baryonyx. It's got an action button on its back. Let's see what that does. Cool, it comes with sound effects too. Let's play that again. And over here, we've got another Sarcosagus. Check this out. This one has different coloring though. You can see it's got purple, and then the orange and red speckles on the side, and then the blue body. And then once again, this huge mouth full of teeth. And here is a tiny little Triceratops. It's still got those huge horns in the front though. You don't wanna mess with those. And this dinosaur has the battle damage as well. All right, we've got another Pachycephalosaurus. And just like the other one, it's got that super hard shell of a head so it can ram into other dinosaurs. <sighs> and over here, we've got some of my favorite dinosaurs, the Velociraptors. Got a yellow one right here, very adjustable, its mouth opens and closes. And then we've got a brown one as well. Its mouth opens and closes as well. These are really cool dinosaurs, but I wouldn't want to meet them in the wild, that's for sure. <laughs> We've got some more big dinosaurs in here. Check out this huge Allosaurus. That is a super ferocious looking dinosaur. And we've actually got 
another one right here. And this one has a different action button. You can slide it up and down. And it's got a bunch of different roar sound effects for it. And look at those teeth and the horns too. This is a super mean looking dinosaur. And over here we've got, well, I'm not sure what kind of dinosaur this is actually. It looks kind of like a Carnotaurus because it's got those horns, but the rest of its body doesn't look quite like a Carnotaurus. Let me know in the comments, do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? And this dinosaur actually has battle damage too. So you can take off parts and reveal its bones underneath. That is super cool. All right, we're nearing the end here, but we've got a few more. This is a Stygimaloc, and it's got that hard head so it can headbutt other dinosaurs, but it's also got these horns up top for defense as well. Better watch out, here is another Velociraptor. Everyone look out, oh no. Let's see, oh, here is our last land dinosaur of the bin. This is a Herrerasaurus. Look at that long mouth with all those teeth. And this dinosaur has the battle damage too. That is amazing. All right, here are our final three dinosaurs of this giant haul. First off, we've got a Pteranodon. Look at the coloring on its wings. And there's a button that you can press to make it flap its wings. Then we've also got a Dimorphodon. And look at those bright orange and red colored wings on the bottom. And finally, we've got this. I think it's a Dimorphodon, but I'm not actually sure. Comment below if you know what type of dinosaur this is. Hello and welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. I'm super excited to be here with you today. Today we are unboxing this giant bin of dinosaur toys. We've got some new Camp Cretaceous, we've got some new Jurassic World, we've got some King Kong and Godzilla further down in the bin, and so much more. I'm super excited to unbox these with you. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first up, let's go ahead and unbox this Camp Cretaceous figure right here. We got a Scorpios Rex from the Camp Cretaceous. Let's check it out. Wow, so this is a pretty sizable figure, I will say. This is larger than a lot of the ones that we have. All right, so there's two buttons on the top up here. Oh, that's the first one. Check it out. This top button, when you press it, watch what happens. Let's see. Nice, so his mouth opens up, reveals his teeth, and the sound effect of his roar. Very cool, let's check out the second button here. So when you press this button, let's see, is that the slashing action? Oh yeah. And it's got a sound effect for that too. That's pretty vicious. This thing is ginormous. And let's check out the tail too. We've got the tail here with the slashing action too. You wouldn't want to be in the way of that tail. That thing would hurt so much. Wow, all right. You'll want to stay out of the way of this one. That's for sure. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. All right, next up, let's do the Jurassic World Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's check it out. All right, yeah, see, this is cool. You don't see this too often. It's a plastic dino throughout most of it, but the tail is a rubber, giving it much more lifelike feel. And it swivels up and down like that. 
can already hear those stomp sound effects. Let's hear some more. Very cool. Let's check out this chomping action too. So when you lift them up like this, it locks into place and then you move the tail upwards and it comes chomping down. Wow, that's cool. Very cool. And even his neck right here is kind of like rubber too. You can see it kind of like swivels back and forth. Very cool. I'm super excited to add this to our collection. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. Okay, let's check out the Camp Cretaceous Tyrannosaurus Rex, Epic Roarin. All right, here we go. Wow, look at that. And look at that darker stripe along its back and then the lighter sides. It's got a lighter belly. It's like, a, I don't know if that's tan or yellow. Let's check out these uh, action moves. So you've got the button on the tail right there. You can, already hear, you can already hear the roaring right there. And then the swivel action. So the tail twists back and forth and a little bit up and down. And as you're doing that, it twists the head at the same time. That's really cool. Cause then it gives it a super realistic look. If you're like playing with the dinos, you don't have to have your hand up here. You can have it way back here and it looks super realistic. That's really cool. And let's try out the button too. Let's see how the roar looks. Whoa, that's cool. It's got like some shaking action too when you press the button. When it roars, there's like a battery inside that makes the head roar back and forth while it's roaring. Let's, let's try that out again. And even look inside the mouth, like with the teeth and this tongue right there. Look at that, it's like wiggling back and forth. So when it shakes, the tongue shakes too. That's pretty cool. That's a attention to detail that I really appreciate. And I definitely am enjoying the swiveling head with the tail. That gives it such a cool look that your hands don't have to be close to the head to make it move. Very cool. Let's check out the next dinosaur. All right, and over here, we've got the Jurassic World Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wow, another Tyrannosaurus Rex. We're really on a roll today. All right, let's check it out here. So it's got kind of the same coloring as the other one. You can see the darker top and then the lighter sides and then the even lighter, like a yellow tan belly and underside. We've got these massive claws once again. So the tail is actually jointed in multiple spots. I bet that's for when you press the button, it really gives it a good swing. Let's try out the tail first. Wow, look at that swing. And it goes all the way to the side and all the way back. It's spring loaded. So you can just keep doing this all day. No batteries required, very cool. And let's see that chomp action with its face too. You ready? Here we go. Ooh, okay. Twist to the side, it closes its mouth and rips it off. Wow, that's really cool. That's a gnarly attack when it's attacking another dinosaur and it's right there. It would grab it and twist it to the side in its attack. That's very vicious. And look at the teeth on this one too. That is a massive set of teeth. Got the yellow eyes. Very cool. I'm liking this one too. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. Next up is a smaller dinosaur here. This is the Monolophosaurus. It is a savage strike from the Camp Cretaceous series. It's pretty cool. All right, so here it is. This is interesting coloring, look at that. It's got a lighter gold coloring on the top and then the green sides and a green bottom. Its legs move, it's got those huge claws, and its arms move too, they're pretty small. And then look at its face, it's got interesting coloring. It's like a mixture of the red and then the yellow that's also on its back as well. Let's check out that chomping action. Here we go with the tail. Very cool, I'm liking that. It's a smaller dinosaur, 
but I like that it still has an action that you can do with the toy. Very cool. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. All right, and our other new dinosaur here, we've got the Diplodocus. Check this out. It's an interesting, like, uh, semi-flexible rubber feeling. The neck is a little bit flexible too. And check out the coloring. You've got this like red brown, and then you've got these stripes of green all the way up the neck too. Check that out. Then got a little bit of yellow on the underbelly and on the legs as well. This is very cool. There are no moving parts in this one. There's no buttons or anything, but it is somewhat movable. It does have a pretty lifelike feel, I think. Let's check out that face. Oh, it's kind of a cute face, you know? Look at those eyes right there. This is pretty cool. This is a, I believe it's a pretty massive dinosaur in real life, the actual size. But this is a very cool model of a dinosaur to have. All right, let's go ahead and check out all these other dinosaurs.
Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.